Well, Superman has his Fortress of Solitude, and Bruce Wayne, he's got the Bat Cave, and me, the Menzoid, I've got the Menzoid Man Cave, a place to sit back, chill out, talk about the issues of the day, and I'm very happy to have in the Man Cave for the first time Candace Malcolm, Ontario Director of the Canadian Taxpayers Federation. Welcome aboard, Candace. Thank you for having me. Oh, a yeah, pleasure. Now, um, Candace, yesterday was the 15th annual uh, Gas Tax Honesty Day. You'll have to forgive me, I went to my local Carlton Cards outlet. I couldn't find a <laughs> happy annual Gas Tax Honesty Day uh, greeting card. But uh, tell everybody, what in the world is Gas Tax Honesty Day all about? Well, it's not exactly a happy day that you celebrate. <laughs> it's, true. It, it, it's a Today, every year, the Canadian Taxpayers Federation has an event to highlight how much taxes we actually pay on gasoline in this country because a lot of the taxes are just completely hidden. So we have no idea. Here in Ontario, we're paying 31% in gas taxes. So 31% of the price you pay at the pump goes to various levels of government. So almost a third. And I know one of the things that's really driven me crazy over the years, and quite frankly, Candace, I don't know how you're legally allowed to do this, but isn't the GST actually charged upon the taxes on the liter of gas once they've been applied? So in a sense, a tax on a tax. That's, that's exactly it. That's one of the major issues that we highlight every year is this tax on tax. It's completely unfair. It's, it's immoral. Uh, so they, they levy all of the federal and provincial taxes. They put the total and then they slap the HST on top of that. So part of the taxes are actually tax on tax. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. And before Stephen Harper became prime minister, when he was in opposition, he used to talk about this all the time. And he used oh. to say, end the tax on tax. Uh, well, he's become prime minister and we still haven't seen any movement on this file. So today or yesterday, we spent the day calling out governments saying, end this tax on tax. Well, this is very interesting. Uh, as you said, uh, when he was not the Prime Minister, he harped upon this. Is there any unspoken agenda? Is there any ostensible policy reason, Candace, why suddenly it's okay? <laughs> well, I think they just <laughs> like the revenue too much. You know, it's, it's a great source of income for governments. Uh, last year, $1.6 billion was raised just on the tax on tax. Wow. Uh, aside from all the other uh, revenue that was driven. So obviously governments are addicted to, to this revenue. And uh, another one of the biggest problems is that the money isn't tied to what it's supposed to be. So we think that gas taxes should be a user fee on roads. You're driving your car, the money should be spent to upgrade roads. But they're not. They go into general revenue. They get spent on all kinds of different pet projects and, and different government uh, uh, pro projects. So we want gas taxes to be tied to roadway spending so that the people who are paying the tax, drivers, can enjoy better roads in this country. Well, in indeed, I mean, I'm very happy you brought up this point, Candace, because you're right. Historically, all of these taxes and levies and fees uh, that were tacked on to gallons and then liters of gasoline were for the creation of new roads and the maintenance and upkeep of old roads. Um, like you said, it's gone into that black pit, that black hole called general <laughs> revenues. Uh, and, you know, what really gets me is that we have um, now a provincial government that's looking at, well, they don't call it taxes anymore. They don't use the T word. They're called revenue tools. And they're looking at tolling rolls, uh, roads, this has been one of the proposals out there, Candace, as you know, um, which have been bought and paid for a thousand times over in order to fund public transit. Now, I just find that in inherently unfair. I, I completely agree. You know, it, the taxes should be a user fee on roads. They shouldn't go to fund all these fancy urban projects. So, uh, yeah, Premier Wynne is discussing raising gas taxes. But before she even discusses that, they need to be transparent with people in Ontario about what they're actually paying already in gas taxes. Because I don't think Premier Wynne is coming out saying, you already pay 31%. Let's add another 5% on that. She's making it seem like it's a small, minor adjustment to make, you know, everyone better off. Off and, 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 and using money from one area to pay for another. So, so drivers in this province shouldn't have to pay for transit users. Transit users should pay for themselves and the money that we're spending on gas taxes should go to improve the roads. And anyone who drives around Toronto, around Ontario, knows there's potholes, there's so many roads that yep. need upgrading, there's congestion, there's traffic, there needs to be new infrastructure built and they're just not using the money. Aside from just causing a, a, a ruckus about this, have you had any victories 
in terms of you know getting uh, the Canadian Taxpayers Federation ideas implemented by any level of government? Well, I think by us going out every year and, and, and promoting this message, we, we probably stop other politicians from wanting to jump on this idea because they see how unpopular it is. And just by comparing all the different provinces across Canada, we can see that gas taxes are the lowest in Alberta, that they have it easiest off, and, and folks in, in Quebec and in British Columbia, especially Vancouver, who has special city taxes on top, you know, they're penalized the most. So we can use mm. Vancouver as a warning sign saying Toronto we don't want to go down that path where they're paying an additional 30% uh, gas taxes over there that, so okay that, that that is interesting and and, and I mean in, in all fairness if I would be open to tolls taxes however you want to call these revenue tools now if you're building say another 407 another brand new uh, roadway but I think for existing infrastructure that's chutzpah, you know, uh, given that these roadways have, like I said earlier, they've been bought and paid for hundreds if not thousands of times over, haven't they? Absolutely. It's completely unfair and we can't let it go forward. We need to stop them. Okay. Well, Candace, keep fighting the good fight. I'll, uh, next time I go to a Hallmark, I'll go to the sympathy section to find <laughs> out if there's a, uh, a tax honesty day card for you. And folks, keep it tuned to Men's Mornings. More coming up right after this.